In this video, we'll learn about dispatching an order. While orders represent agreements between you and a customer, customer to move one or more shipments of goods, once it comes time to actually move the goods, you need to dispatch those shipments, either to a company truck and trailer or to a third party carrier who will be moving the goods on your behalf. First, we're going to look at dispatching an order right from the order create process. So in our creating order video, of course you learned how to create orders here using the create button at the top of the list. And of course, we learned about having all the details populated, shipment, origin, destination locations, as well as the amount of money you're charging. Now, when you complete your order entry for the order and you want to dispatch the order right from the order entry, can be accomplished using this button, Dispatch Order. And when you do, the software will go ahead and create the dispatch record for you. You do get a choice. If it's a skid of LTL that you're perhaps throwing on the back of a trailer that's already been dispatched, use existing. In this case, I'm going to use new. I'm putting one full load order on one dispatch. When I use the new button, the software creates the dispatch create screen for me, allowing me now some choices. If I'm moving this on a company truck, all of my tractors that I've created will be here in this list, allowing me to choose that company truck. However, if I'm dispatching this onto a carrier partner, switching my button to brokered carrier, and here will be every carrier I have vetted and set up in my database. Let's go ahead and choose a uh, carrier partner. So I'll choose Zippy Transport to move this load. I can choose any contact that I might have set up with this carrier, and I can populate the amount that I have agreed to pay this carrier. I've spoken with the carrier on the phone. I've negotiated the rate. So I'll go ahead and pay the carrier $3,000 to move this load. And I can categorize my expense. Here in this pull down will be every expense item that I have created in my configuration area, allowing me to choose the item I want to categorize this cost to. If there's any fiat flags that I need to set, I can do it right here. If this requires a team, for example, switch this, this toggle and then clicking the save button will create the dispatch record for us. It, of course, assigns a trip number. That will end up being your PO to the carrier. Now here from the print menu, we have the ability to email the load confirmation off to our customer, off to our carrier partner. I'll go ahead, throw the load confirmation on the screen for you for a moment so you can see what it looks like. So the load confirmation is your legal binding contract between yourself and the carrier. This trip number, as I mentioned, acts as your PO to the carrier. Your logo, your company information will populate here. It details what you're moving, where it picks up, where it delivers to, and of course, any of the information that you entered on the order will flow through here, allowing you to detail to your carrier exactly how you want them to move the load for you. Down here, the amount of money you've agreed to pay the carrier, and of course, some loading terms and conditions completely customizable by yourself. All of our verbiage it has the ability for you to make it your own. Now that's the ability to dispatch directly from the order entry. Let's go and have a look at how we would dispatch an order that's already been created and is populated on our order list. This one, of course, is the in that unassigned color, allowing me to dispatch this if I need to. Once you Open the order using the open button. You can dispatch the related shipments in one of two ways. The simplest way is to simply click dispatch all shipments. If the, the case is that you will be moving all these shipments together on one dispatch. However, sometimes we dispatch separate shipments 
on, diff on separate dispatches, and that can be accomplished using the dispatch button located right in the shipment line. Using either of these dispatch buttons will bring up a dialogue asking if you want to use existing or new. Existing is used when you're throwing a skid of LTL, for example, on the back of a trailer that's already been dispatched. We're going to use new in this situation. And I have some choices. If I'm moving this on company equipment or if I'm moving this on a brokered carrier partner. Let's go ahead and dispatch this one onto company equipment. Don't worry, I'll come back and show you one on a brokered carrier partner as well. So here, since I have chosen company truck, here is listed every truck that I have set up in my database, allowing me to choose the tractor that's moving the load, set flags if needed, and when I save this record, the software will create the dispatch record for me. So, from a dispatch record, we can do a multitude of functions. Let's have a look at that. First of all, as an asset-based trucking company, I would want to assign the trailer that's moving the load. We have a spot for two trailers if you're moving A or B trains, and the driver that's moving the load. Again, we have a spot if, the, if you need to move, if you're using two drivers, if this is a team driver situation. Also, we'll see the map route here showing us our pickup and our delivery locations, as well as a route plan. Remember, this is a multiple shipment order we're moving, so we do have multiple shipments listed here. The shipments will list down here showing us all that we're moving, and I can also calculate miles. Here at the bottom of your road plan is the ability for you to calculate miles so the software can return that it's 1,250 miles to move between Portland and Denver. That's where we're going with this load for finaling in Denver. Now, of course, we need to pay someone for moving this load, whether it's a carrier partner or in this situation and uh, our own company equipment. Down here in the expense area, you will see a bill created for Georgia Green, the driver on the load. That's because I'm making use of automatic payables. Automatic payables is the software's ability to automatically determine some expenses for you. For example, Georgia Green happens to be paid 50 cents per mile, and I've set this up at my setup time. You can learn all about that by seeing our document called Working with Revenue and Expense Items and Automatic Payables. So Georgie is automatically being paid for her job to move this load for me, and I can also send her the details of the trip. Here under the print menu is the ability for you to email a trip manifest to your driver. Let's go ahead and throw it on the screen for us. Oh, but first, Let's throw some load instruction notes on here. Of course, every load's different and requires some specific load instruction notes. So through our notes function, you can create a load instruction note. Whatever your particular instructions are for this load, go ahead and populate them here. Click the Create button which will now allow that to be printed on that trip manifest. The trip manifest is your ability to detail to your driver exactly how you want them to do the job for you. Remember, this is a multiple shipment load. That's why we're seeing lots of details here. This trip number is what your driver will reference on their pay settlement statement. Shows the truck, the trailer, the driver, the pickups, as well as the deliveries, and there's those special load instruction notes coming out for us. So that's the ability to dispatch an order onto company equipment. Let's go back and create and get an order and dispatch it onto a carrier partner as well. Navigating back to my order list, I will choose another order that is presently not assigned to any dispatch. So here's one for us. Opening the order up, and now choosing to dispatch a single shipment or dispatch all shipments together onto a new dispatch. And in this situation, 
let's choose a brokered carrier so you can see what that looks like. Choosing this brokered carrier button will now allow the software to show every carrier I have vetted and set up in my database, allowing me to choose the carrier that I've negotiated with, populating the rate for the carrier that I've agreed to pay them, and setting any flags that might be required. When I save this record, the software again creates the dispatch record, assigns the dispatch number, shows me the details, the map route, the route plan, and gives me the ability to email a load confirmation out to my carrier partner. Let's throw that on the screen here so we can see all that it holds. This is different from a trip manifest. This is your legal binding contract that will detail to your carrier what you want them to do, where to pick up, where to deliver, special instructions coming through to you, as well as the amount of money you've agreed to pay the carrier. Let's navigate back to that dispatch because I'd also like you to understand that I've explained to you having automatic payables create your driver pay. I've explained about putting the expenses on for your carriers when you're um, brokering this load out to a carrier partner. You can add any expenses that you might be required to track. Maybe you've hired a lumper service or something. Simply by adding a bill will allow you to detail any expenses you might need to choose. Uh, for example, maybe I've, um, I want to show fuel on this. I can certainly do so just by choosing the vendor. And when I create the bill, it then allows me to categorize my expense as well as show the amount that I am paying for that expense, whatever it might be. There is always a cost to moving goods for your customers. Great, that covers off all about dispatching orders directly from the order that you've created or from the order screen. Thanks so much.